This tutorial is going to discuss the running total. In this gradebook, there are three columns calculating into the total. There is an assignment, which if you look at possible points is 50, in exam one where the possible points are 100, and a discussion one where the possible points are 50. This student has perfect points. She has 50 points on assign one, 100 points on the exam, and 50 points on the discussion. We can see in her total column that she's earned 200 points or 100%. If I click on this cell, at the top you can see 200 points is the points possible. This is what the student sees in the student view. They see grade 200 out of 200, and if they click on description, it tells the student that the total is the unweighted sum of all grades for a user. And if the student clicks on grading criteria, the student gets a message that tells them that it's a running total of all grades. Looking at the grade book another way, we're going to null the grade for the discussion one. What we see is that the student has 100 points on exam one, 50 points on assignment one, zero points on discussion one, for a total of 150. It's saying the student's grade is 100%. Points possible, we can see that the points possible are 150 because the discussion one column has been exempted as it has no score. Let's see what this looks like from the student's point of view. The student now sees that they've earned 150 out of 150 points. Let's see what happens if we put the zero in the gradebook. We can now see that the student's grade drops to 75% and the points possible goes up to 200 because the, the column with the zero is now cal calculating into the total. The student now sees that they have a grade of 150 out of 200 points. If we desire, we can change the total column so that it's not a running total by clicking on the chevron, clicking edit column information and going down to option three where we can calculate as a running column we change that to no and click submit. We can now see the results were the same as the running total when we entered the zero. The student has a hundred and fifty points or a seventy five percentile. If I click on that you can see that the points possible are two hundred. Now, if I take out the zero, and I know that grade, then the point, the student's percentage stays at 75% because the points possible now includes every column rather than just the columns that the students have, uh, have attempted. So if there's not a grade in a column, it's not exempted, and the points possible are all of the col columns that are set to calculate. From the student point of view, the current grade view looks exactly like it did in the running total when the instructor submitted the zero for the work that the student did not complete. The take home message from this tutorial is that it's important to enter zeros so that students have a clear understanding of where they stand in a course. The, in a, well, the student may believe that their grade is higher than it is if you don't enter zeros for the work the student did not complete. That concludes this tutorial on the running total.